Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. On my last vlog, we moved to Eos Island with all of our belongings to start a little homestead. This past month, I had the chance to visit some other permaculture gardens here in Eos and I was amazed to find mango trees, lemongrass, guava trees, and professionally made compost. My five-year-old son Adam has been getting used to the lifestyle here, going to school, making friends, going to the local library. This month we also celebrated my boyfriend's birthday, and of course I made the cake. We try to eat organic foods as much as we can, but unfortunately, here on the island, organic fruit and veggies are nowhere to be found. So I decided to start harvesting wild grains I could find on the property, like dandelion, nettles, malwa. As soon as we arrived last month, we planted a lot of potatoes, garlic, onions, and I transplanted many of the seedlings I had planted from seed, like watermelons, zucchinis, pumpkins, corn, tomatoes, cucumbers, you name it. But these are going to take a while to give fruit. So at the moment, I'm trying to find solutions to feed ourselves. These days, my time is divided between the farm and the kitchen, making bread, pies, all sorts of things with lemons because we have too many, and of course cooking every meal from scratch. As we were soon gonna get chickens, we decided to make a simple chicken tractor. I was surprised it only took us three hours, and if you ask me, it was a great design and super easy to make. Όχι, 
Jesse. And then my mom went to Santorini on vacation with her mom and she also brought lots of organic vegetable and food for us like five kilos of potatoes and another five of onions pretty crazy but I'm so grateful so I went to pick it up and of course spent some days with her and grandma and yeah, it was quite good We're so lucky to have an indoor jacuzzi in our hotel. And then we spent time walking along the caldera in Santorini. And while doing that, we met a celebrity chef from the TV. <laughs> and we got to take a picture with him as well. We had a lot of work to do, there were lots of roses to pick and also so many lemons. We sell the lemons to local restaurants and I also use them to make some recipes like limoncello and Greek spoon dessert, I guess that's what you call it. As we don't have a car yet, we usually walk to the farm from the house that's located in the village. It's about a 15 minute walk, a bit more with Adam. It's a nice walk going down towards the farm, but not so nice coming back, especially if it's midday. But then sometimes coming back to the village. After the farm, we will pass the local park or playground so that Adam can also have a bit of fun.
Hello everyone! I have a big surprise for you today. So yesterday we got some chickens from a guy that was passing by selling poultry from Athens. We bought some broilers, so chicks that we're gonna raise for meat and then some laying chickens. So four laying chickens, two white and two brown. And we also got two ducklings. They're like the cutest creatures ever. It's a couple, so a male and a female that are hopefully gonna mate and give us some eggs and babies in the future. So yeah, let me show you. So in the morning my routine is now to feed them and water them and we don't even have the appropriate uh, waters and feeders yet because I ordered them and my mom is gonna bring them from Athens. So these are the laying chickens and Sylvester desperately wants to be part of this video. Hi Sylvester, what happened to you? What do you think about this DIY um, chicken coop cover? Isn't it cool? So we made this coop the other day, it's like a chicken tractor. Very easy to make, very cheap. It only took us about three hours to make I think. And yeah, it works great. No complaints. Hello! We're meant to have them, you know, wandering free outside, but we realized that they can get through the fence. So actually, I either need to cover the fence with a chicken wire or make them like a chicken tractor. And yeah. I think in a couple of days they will have a brand new home. So that can be absolutely disgusting. I'm sure many people know that there are ways to keep them clean, but yeah, we weren't prepared to get ducks to be honest. It was just a last minute decision. And we we're trying to work with what we have. Again, because they're small, we're keeping them in this cage for the moment, but it's not gonna last very long. I'm gonna make something for them. So they're outside as soon as they can and forage and wander around and look for worms and insects and things like that. So I gave them this water here that's supposed to be drinking water so they stick their, head, their heads out to drink it but they don't seem to get it so they've been bathing in this little bathtub also drinking from it and pooping in it. Great. So, <laughs> yeah. I guess we figured it out. Yeah, so now suddenly, out of the blue, I'm responsible for what? 17, 19 souls, including my dog and my cat. I have to make sure everyone has enough feed and water and has enough space and is safe from predators. So I decided I couldn't wait to put the broilers outside. So I made a little chicken coop for them, just a temporary one with the chicken wire I got for their chicken tractor. So I'm gonna put them there now and I'm hoping they will be much happier there. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely much nicer here, right? I'm only worried that my cat Sylvester might get them. Because he seems cute, you know, but he's a good hunter. There he is. Don't you even dare. You hear me? <laughs> Okay, 
Après me chauffer. <rire> Hey! <laughs>